raising the flag for Hezbollah and Lebanon. The symbolic gesture of taking down the banner belonging to Jabhat Fatah al-Sham, formerly known as al-Nusra, follows the capture of this strategically important valley. Since Friday, Hezbollah fighters, aided by Syrian government forces, fought the rebels linked to al-Qaeda, saying they killed dozens of fighters and seized large areas of territory. Hezbollah's advance is in a very complex geographical area. The geography also includes the presence of Nusra, ISIL, as well as Hezbollah. So while Hezbollah is claiming to have seized several positions, there are still hundreds more out there, and dozens of passageways. So seizing a couple of positions doesn't mean they have taken control of the whole area. Jerud Arsal is a barren mountainous border zone between Lebanon and Syria that has served as Jabhat Fatah al-Sham's base for years. Hezbollah's apparent rapid advance has given it control over much of the rival armed group's most important base. In parallel to the fighting are attempts to find a negotiated settlement. Talks have stalled following the killing of a prominent Lebanese mediator in an attack on Saturday. The death of the mediator has hurt any attempts at negotiations. So far, the bridges of communication have collapsed. So with that, the fight for Arsal can't be isolated from the international agenda that is working to reduce tensions in Syria. Hezbollah has for years played a critical role in previous campaigns against armed groups opposed to its ally, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. But Hezbollah's involvement in the Syrian civil war, support for Assad, and funding from Iran is criticized by political opponents in Lebanon, including Prime Minister Saad Hariri. Prime Minister Saad Hariri is due to meet President Donald Trump in Washington on Tuesday. Among the items of discussion is a push by U.S. lawmakers to impose new sanctions on Hezbollah, a group it describes as a terrorist organization. Despite his criticisms of Hezbollah, Mr. Hariri is expected to ask for softer sanctions, warning that any hardline measures could destabilize Lebanon politically and economically something he says the country cannot afford, given there's so much intense fighting right on its doorstep. Imtiaz Tayyip, Al Jazeera, Beirut.